Hey guys, it's Castro72, aka Anthony, and I'm recording another video for Nintendo Nation. This time around we are playing Ghosts and Goblins, which is known as Makai Mura Demon World Village on the Famicom and in arcades in Japan. Um, as you can see, it's sort of a run and gun type of uh, run jump and shoot uh, type of arcade game. You play as Sir Arthur the Knight, who is out to, uh, to rescue Princess Prin Prin from the, the King of Demon Village, Satan. And um, here, as you can see, like uh, it's a pretty challenging game. You run through uh, several different levels, destroying monsters. Uh, this is the graveyard scene with um, zombies and crows and plants. Here, I, I accidentally... Uh, got the fire weapon you really want to stick with some weapon that's a little uh, faster fire on honestly is not a great weapon here uh, I encounter red armorer uh, one of Capcom's staple characters and honestly I, I just didn't stand a chance with that fire power that I had the first uh, weapon I had was the lance and that one's decent but uh, you really want to try to get the dagger, or I guess sometimes they call it the knife. That is the best weapon because it's the fastest. You can continually just keep shooting. With the fire, once it hits the ground, it makes this blaze of a wall of fire that's good against the enemies. But you can't shoot another one until it dies down. I think you could, you could shoot two of them. That was actually a pretty amazing escape. I jumped out of that horde of zombies and avoided a crow and everything. But anyway, um, so I destroy that man-eating plant, jump over gravestones, destroy that crow. Oh, and there's my dagger. I was lucky to get it, because, you know, the, the weapons are placed randomly around uh, the play area. Here I am chased by the zombie again, just barely turning around. I'll be honest, when I was when I was recording this, my, uh, my control pad was kind of sticking a bit, so I, w I made some narrow escapes. Uh, here I tried to destroy Red Armorer again. I think he gets the better half of me. He he shoots out um, a projectile which knocks my armor off. Uh, obviously this game was followed by Ghosts and I'm sorry, Ghouls and Ghosts uh, in the arcade, which had a port on the Sega Genesis, and then um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts followed that, which was on the Super Nintendo, which was an exclusive on that console. And here I am fighting these um, really annoying flying knights. That item I just picked up is called the Yasichi, and it's just a bonus item, but it's very um, distinct to Capcom games. I think they use it in several of their games, including like Sidearms, and I think Commando has it. There's another Yasichi. And oh, here are these ugh, pitchfork ghosts. They, uh, they travel in the river. And that's my javelin, which I will not get again. Or or jousting spear, I don't know what it's called, because you really, really, really want to keep this dagger. This is, I think they call this guy the unicorn, or the cyclops. Um, he's called the unicorn because I think he has one, one, uh, one horn. And here I am getting the key to the next level, and I get my armor back. Uh, many consider this game to be one of the hardest games on the NES, or and, and one of the hardest video games in general, and... It is pretty tough because you have one. You have to kill the last guy with a special cross weapon, I believe. And even after you do that, they send you back to the beginning of the level of the whole game because you have to beat it twice to get the true ending. And here I am um, at the ice towers. I, this was kind of unfair because, like, honestly. These little demon ice guys pop out of the little holes, and it's hard to see them. Like, and they, they maneuver really fast. Uh, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to climb to the top of this tower and then just sort of make a leap of faith into the next area, which is like a little town, but I, I don't make it. And here I get just swarmed by ice demons. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for viewing this on Throwback Thursday. Peace out, and I will see you next time.